Moira Shearer, an iconic figure in classic Hollywood cinema, has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many through her remarkable performances. She graced the silver screen with her elegance and talent, captivating audiences around the world. Do you have a cherished memory associated with Moira Shearer? Or perhaps there is a particular work of hers that you hold closest to your heart. As we delve into the world of Moira Shearer, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Moira Shearer's legacy endures through her contributions to the film industry, and there are fascinating facts that shed light on her remarkable career. Let's explore some random facts about this legendary actress, from her breakout role in The Red Shoes to her later endeavors on both stage and screen. Join us on this journey through the life and work of Moira Shearer, and feel free to share your own experiences with this timeless star. Moira Shearer, a notable actress, made her mark in the world of entertainment. Her career was remarkable, but one interesting fact is her marriage to Ludovic Kennedy in February 1950 at the Chapel Royal in Hampton Court Palace, London. Their union was a significant moment in her life, as Kennedy was captivated by her talent in the red shoes and knew instantly that she would be the one he would marry. They tied the knot two years later, marking a personal milestone for Shearer. Unfortunately, in 2000, she faced a health challenge when diagnosed with viral encephalitis, which affected her memory. Despite this setback, her contributions to the world of film and her marriage to Ludovic Kennedy remain notable aspects of her life. Moira Shearer, a renowned actress, left a lasting impact on the world of entertainment. Her journey was more than just her iconic role in The Red Shoes. In 1971, she took on a new role as a member of the Scottish Arts Council, where she contributed to the promotion and support of the arts in Scotland. But her influence extended beyond acting and the arts. From 1977 to 1982, Moira Shearer toured the United States, delivering lectures on the history of ballet and Sergei Diaghilev. Her knowledge and passion for these subjects left a significant mark on those who had the opportunity to hear her speak. One interesting tidbit in her life story is the humorous headline by the Sydney Morning Herald when her first daughter was born, titled Pink Booties for Red Shoes, a playful nod to her iconic role. Moira Shearer's life was filled with accomplishments and intriguing moments, from her role in the Scottish Arts Council to her lectures in the United States and the memorable newspaper headline. These facets of her life add depth to her legacy, making her more than just a famous actress. Moira Shearer, a red-headed ballet star, shot to film fame with her iconic role in The Red Shoes. This one film made her a household name, and though she made only a handful of other movies, her impact was indelible. However, her journey was not confined to the silver screen. Before her film career, she was a principal dancer with the Royal Ballet at Sadler's Wells in London. Her ballet career thrived until 1953 when a combination of ill health, injuries, and her desire to establish herself as an actress led her to retire from the ballet stage at the young age of 27. Moira Shearer's transition from ballet to film and her remarkable performance in The Red Shoes remain defining moments in her career, making her more than just a ballet and movie star. Moira Shearer, a relatively unknown talent in her early 20 seconds, was thrust into the world of cinema when acclaimed director Michael Powell offered her a role in The Red Shoes. At the time, she had never appeared in a film. Powell initially offered her 1,000, a substantial sum in those days. However, Shearer stood her ground and negotiated for 5,000, a testament to her determination. Howell went on to direct her in two more films, The Tales of Hoffman and Peeping Tom, but their professional relationship was far from amicable. Shearer's career extended beyond the silver screen. She later worked as a book reviewer for the Daily Journal. Notably, when she was chosen to star in The Red Shoes, she held the second position only to the world-renowned prima ballerina Margaret Fontaine at the renowned Sadler's Wells Ballet. Moira Shearer's journey from an aspiring actress with a remarkable negotiation skill to a book reviewer and her position in the ballet world alongside Margaret Fontaine make for a fascinating exploration of her multifaceted career. Moira Shearer, a celebrated actress and accomplished ballet dancer, left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. 
Beyond her renowned role in the Red Shoes, her career was a tapestry of diverse accomplishments. She was a principal dancer with the Royal Ballet at Sadler's Wells in London before transitioning to the silver screen. Her performances in ballet, including a memorable turn in Frederick Ashton's symphonic variations, showcased her exceptional talent. In addition to her ballet career, Shearer ventured into acting, securing her place in cinematic history with the Red Shoes in 1948. Her iconic portrayal in the film earned her widespread recognition. She later went on to act in other movies, albeit in a limited capacity. Shearer's life extended beyond the stage and screen. Her personal life included a marriage to Ludovic Kennedy, with whom she had four children. A joint portrait of the couple by the Israeli artist Avigdor Erika is now part of the permanent collection at the Scottish National Portrait Gallery. While her career faced ups and downs, her journey from ballet to film, her remarkable portrayal in The Red Shoes, and her role as a mother and wife all contribute to the fascinating story of Moira Shearer. Her unique path in the world of entertainment continues to be a source of inspiration for many. Moira Shearer, the celebrated actress, had a diverse career that extended beyond the silver screen. She was not only known for her iconic role in The Red Shoes, but also for her involvement in various other fields. Moira Shearer served as a member of the BBC General Advisory Council from 1970 to 1977. This role allowed her to contribute her insights to the world of broadcasting. In addition to her professional accomplishments, Moira Shearer was a devoted mother to one son and three daughters, highlighting her commitment to her family life. Her journey in the entertainment world was influenced by her early years in northern Rhodesia, where her mother encouraged her to take dance lessons, setting the stage for her remarkable career. These facets of Moira Shearer's life showcase her multifaceted journey and the impact she had in various domains, from broadcasting to her personal life as a mother. Her story continues to be a source of inspiration for many. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the captivating world of actress Moira Shearer, I invite you to pause for a moment and consider your personal connection with this iconic figure. Her performances on screen have undoubtedly left an indelible mark on the tapestry of entertainment. And now it's your turn to share your cherished memories and profound thoughts. Perhaps you recall the ethereal grace of her ballet sequences in the red shoes or the magnetic allure she brought to the characters she portrayed. Maybe it's a specific scene or a line of dialogue that has resonated with you over the years. Moira Shearer's talents and charisma have touched countless hearts, and I encourage you to let your memories and sentiments flow. In celebrating her artistry, we not only pay tribute to a remarkable actress, but also acknowledge the power of cinema to transcend time and space, connecting people from all walks of life through the magic of storytelling. So, whether you've been a lifelong admirer or have just discovered her brilliance, your reflections are a valuable part of the tapestry of appreciation from Moira Shearer. Your words will join a chorus of admiration and respect that spans generations. Thank you for taking the time to share your thoughts and memories and for being a part of this ongoing tribute to a true luminary in the world of entertainment.